Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Hello, I've got a really cool project to share with you today. I recently bought a new bike which I'm really enjoying and a few weeks ago I was thinking wouldn't it be cool if you could have some LED indicators or turn signals and lights on your bike in order to be able to let cars know what you're doing and also to have greater visibility. One of the most dangerous aspects of cycling is not being seen by the other vehicles on the road. So I figured, what about some LEDs? Since I happen to make Raspio inspiring and I've made a project like this before, I thought, how hard can it be? Let's, let's put something on the bike. And I'd been mulling this over for a while, but last week on Twitter, I saw Lorraine Underwood's high visibility jacket where she'd had a similar idea, but applied it in a different way. And that gave me enough of a kick to actually get on with it. So this video is all about how I've implemented the Raspio inspiring LEDs lighting system for my bike. So on day one I put together two triangles and used the Wemos D1 Mini to control them. The Wemos is logging into a Wi-Fi hotspot on my mobile phone which is also using a web page generated by the Wemos which is acting as a web server uh, to control the lights and that's what I did on day one. Let's have a look at that. Of the three shapes available, triangle, straight and circle, I decided to use two triangles for the back and a circle for the front. What I wanted to achieve was a scrolling effect similar to what I had on the arrow. So when you want to signal right, you want the arrows to give a movement animation that goes that way and the same for left. And the rest of the time they should be red because that's what the tail lights of a car are, or the back light of a bicycle. So the rear lights fit very nicely using cable ties um, on, the sa on the back of my saddlebag, which has a little loop in exactly the right place, and it also is ideal to hold the battery. So that's very easy to mount. I just zip the bag closed and put the saddlebag under the saddle where it's supposed to be. It starts in tail lights, you can turn the lights off, you can put tail lights back on, brake lights, turn left. This only does a single animation, but I have it doing 10 when I actually use it. I made it different for the sake of the video. So this is where I got to on day one. I got the triangle made up, I got the web interface working so that I can control it from the front of the bike and I figured out that it would probably be a good idea to use cable ties to hook it up to my saddlebag and the saddlebag can hold the battery. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.